how we can add a filter to this type of chart and to any any type of chart and we can get the data for our analysis like this we will see that but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So on today's video, we'll see how you can uh, apply filter on this type of ch uh, charts and all. So for the charts here is, this is a data of two students, this is a dummy data and the admission per month. I know admission happens only once in a year. For understanding it will be good so suppose we want to see in which month the admission of the student is less than 200 okay so you can see in Feb and April for school one and in July for both the school okay so we want that less than we'll do that less than then we'll see 200 and then apply you can see the data has changed with all the animation and all and if you don't know how to create a chart or how to give this type of animation using chart.js I have a video I will link it here you can go there and watch so I will change that again so greater than zero so all data will come so this video is asked by a viewer so I thought if, if it's you uh, and this is a very good scenario that everybody will add some filter to their chart. So I thought to make a video on it. How are you gonna create a bar chart and how to use that in your application? I already have a video. I will link it there. You can watch that one. So uh, here just uh, as I will just explain a little bit. So uh, I have a uh, in the HTML, I have a, a canvas here, which, uh, which has a ID of bar, okay. And this is for the drop down and the button. Uh, this is a normal angular stuff. So here what I am doing is uh, on change of uh, the model I am setting less than or greater than on uh, in the input I am taking the value uh, of the, the amount like 100, 200, 300 or any user input and the uh, button I am clicking apply filter. So it's good now I guess that was very small so as you can see here uh, as I just explained this is the uh, one and here if you go to the so here what I'm doing is I created a ch chart data so this line of code is used for to create a array of random integer and the length of the array is 8 here okay so mm, here and in the chart I'm instantiating a chart.js I imported it here that you already know from the previous videos so this is uh, the, this is the id of uh, id which i given here and and as you can see responsive true display true or this is a text you are seeing it here uh, i'll zoom student admission data and school one school is two is the our data set so that like how like i just uh, instance a data here the data set one which is coming from here data set one data set two this is the background color and fill false and all that you know uh, this is to remove data this is the update chart this is the older methods and didn't use it here ah, now we came to the point so uh, when a user click on apply filter like here so we'll go for data uh, less than uh, suppose uh, 300 so when you apply this effect all these things happening inside the apply filter method okay so for a short note I selected the uh, less than or greater than so that I can compare then I give the limit so limit for the data to be filtered and uh, and the, on this apply we are doing the operation here on call on starting of that method I am instantiating these values as the previous value I will say the re region why value if you have multiple data sets you can run in a loop and can 
Einstein say those things. So in a for each loop, I'm iterating through the data and uh, doing the operation. So here I'm checking if this is greater than, greater than means this one, like uh, if you see greater than. So if it is greater than, then in that I'm running the map operation and I'm returning if that value is greater than equal to value, this does greater than I consider it as greater than equal to. I'm checking that if this is greater than value, I'm returning the value else I'm returning zero. I will let you know why I'm returning zero. So you, you may ask uh, why, I'm, why I'm using map not filter, but if you apply filter to the data, what it will do, it will reduce the length of your data set array. So like here, if you have data set array of length eight and the each index is mapped with the index of the label. So if you apply filter and that filter like I applied here, less than 100 I have only April and May month of a single school then this array become of length 2 then all the data will be available in the Jan and Feb month if I go and uh, just change and show it to you so suppose we'll go for greater than 350 okay so I'll go for that because I add the condition change the condition greater than so if I go for this one, as you see, all the data came back to the Jan, Feb and March and April as well, because the, pro, the that I already explained. Now you, if you add filter, you reducing the length of the uh, data set, like the data and that index is mapped with the uh, your labels. So uh, that's the reason I use map here. If the value is there, I'm returning the value else I'm making the value at zero so that it will be go down to zero so that we can only see the data which is matches the filter condition. And after the filtration and all, I'm just updating the chart here so that the chart will be get updated and the, you can see the animation and all. I forgot to mention how, why I did this one. I guess this is self-explanatory because on every filter, we are filtering with the data we have from the beginning, okay? So, uh, I'm just, uh, on every filter, I'm assigning the data here and on that whole data, we are running the uh, filter. So, that's it for today, guys. Today, we saw how you can apply a filter to a bar chart. You can use the same principle in the line chart, donor chart, bubble chart, combination of bar and line chart and the pie chart all so just have the the basic concept here is you just need to update the data set like the data set this data of a data set of any type of chart if the bubble you need to consider you need to change the x in x y coordinate and the width of the the weight of the bubble and just uh, run an update method here so that you can get the filter done okay so please like the video if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please share the video among your friend please give some valuable comment in the comment section below we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye